It's remarkable how differently two people can look at things, both intelligent people yet with different presuppositions. For example, a trained secular geologist will look at the Grand Canyon and see vast erosion that took place over millions of years. I look at the same canyon and I am stunned by the clear non-erosion. In fact, when you see this canyon more clearly, I think the lack of erosion will become the dominant characteristic in your thinking as well. Let me explain. Both young earth creationists and secular geologists agree that the canyon had to be formed in two steps. The first thing to happen is the consecutive deposition of layers of sediment by water, one after the other, until they were all in place. After that, erosion begins, starting with the surface erosion, called channeling. Surface channeling includes storm runoff, burrowing from animals, wind, rain, and such. But the really big erosion would be the cutting of the canyon that penetrates those existing layers. But look closer. Notice the uneroded surfaces between the layers. There is little or no channeling between the layers. But this is impossible, isn't it? Substantial channeling always happens to exposed surfaces, even over a few hundred years, let alone millions. Uneroded surfaces between layers is proof that the layers were deposited in rapid succession. No time for channeling, but these layers are huge and sweep across much of the continent, no more than days or perhaps even hours before the next one is laid on top of the last, in a massive global scale flood that came in multiple tectonic driven tsunamis and gave Given that the layers had to go down in rapid succession, they would simultaneously all be temporarily soft during continental upheaval when the global scale runoff could easily cut the entire canyon in days or weeks, like a knife through soft butter. But it is these uneroded surfaces between layers that are glaring, and not just in the Grand Canyon, but globally. This lack of erosion between surfaces can be seen everywhere on the earth. Uneroded surfaces between layers. It is everywhere we look. Every single place the ground is cut open or a mountain of sediments lifted up, we see it. Uneroded surfaces between layers. 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 Uneroded surfaces. 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 Uneroded surfaces between layers truly is the most amazing thing to see at the Grand Canyon. So it's not the erosion that happened that's amazing, but the erosion that didn't happen. If you assume evolution and its requisite millions of years, you won't see it. But if you open your eyes, anyone can see it. Proof again that the ground beneath our feet is thousands, not billions of years old. Evolution is impossible for many reasons, but it only takes one.